Donald Trump's proposals for taxes and spending would add exponentially more to America's debt over the next decade than Hillary Clinton's. That's according to new estimates from the Committee for a Responsible Federal Budget. Now, if you look at the numbers, Secretary Clinton's plan adds around $200 billion to the debt. Trump's plan would add $5.3 trillion to the debt, although considerably lower than origi his original plan. Uh, the estimates indeed are lower for both candidates as they've made major tweaks to their plans. Mayor McGuinness is the president for the Committee for a Responsible Federal Budget. Good luck to you, ma'am, having gone through those numbers in excruciating detail. But the gist is still the same, as I understand it. Trump's plan raises the deficit less than before, but still considerably. So that's absolutely right, and, and good luck to us indeed. It is a uh, depressing election when it comes to the candidate making fiscal policy, addressing the challenges this country has, and putting forth realistic policies that would deal with this and other economic challenges a priority. We are not seeing what we would have liked to, given the fact that, right. if you take a step back, the overall situation here is debt is at near record levels, the deficit is growing, interest payments are the fastest growing part of the budget, and neither candidate has a plan that would do put a single penny towards slowing the growth of the debt. So it's well, not a good starting point. Except that you, by, by your own calculations, you do not account for increased economic growth that would come as a result of the policies. And obviously what Donald Trump says is his policies would generate faster growth. 4% uh, is what he told us he was virtually guaranteeing, and that would increase revenues. So that's an excellent point. Our analysis is done in the conventional scoring way that we do with budgets, so it does not look at all of the growth that the Donald Trump campaign has claimed they would have. It also does not look at the slower growth that would result at some of his policies. So let me take you through them. He has tax cuts that would help grow the economy. He has changes in regulations, though not very specific, could definitely help promote growth. Same is true for his energy proposals. On the flip side, he has trade proposals and immigration proposals that outside analysts have found would harm growth in the U.S. And certainly the additional debt that would result of all of his policies put together would be a drag on growth. So it seems well, actually quite likely that if someone did a comprehensive dynamic score, it would show that this plan could hurt growth, uh, not necessarily help it. The other piece I would say about growth is we're facing real demographic challenges in the U.S., just like other countries are. That makes high growth rates, 4%, it, very unlikely. So finally and briefly, is it realistic for anybody to try and balance the budget? I mean, look, Bill Clinton was the last one who ran a budget so uh, the deficit rose to its high levels because of the, uh, the, the gross debt, debt, because of the financial crisis. It's unrealistic with growth at 1.1% that anybody's going to be able to reduce the deficit. I would posit that trying to balance the budget should not be our goal. Our fiscal hole is so large and we face the very severe challenge right. of the aging population. What I think we need to do is put our debt on a path that it's not growing faster than the economy, which is where it is right now. If you slow the growth of the debt so that the economy is growing faster than the debt, it would become sustainable. Right. That would be a realistic goal. Good to see you. We'll need your help as we go through this election. Thank you, ma'am.